more modifications to the dog sled. We welded a little hitch on the back. That way when we're towing this sled, we can also tow another heavy sled behind it, which is gonna be this one. And we're doing that because we need a nice secure way to tow a lot of weight. And we're going on another trip. We're going out to a cabin. We're gonna bring all of our fishing gear and we're gonna have the dogs in here. So I'm gonna hook this little sled to it. And we also need some firewood for where we're going. And I wanna test out this hitch, make sure it's strong. So we're gonna put a load of firewood in here, see how she does. Especially at negative 30. I don't think it's going to be that cold though. Okay, if we can haul this wood. Nice! Haul, we can haul our ice fishing gear. Let's see nice. if she tows it. Alright, we are all set to head out on our trip. We're headed about two hours north and it is a super chilly morning. I think it's in the negatives today, definitely. We're gonna be camping at the same place that we camped about a month ago, and we're gonna be ice fishing. We're very excited for this trip, so we're gonna take off. Well, we made it. It is definitely windier than we expected. It's about as cold as we expected, but we got some major winds. Hopefully it dies down. We got to get all of our stuff loaded, hooked up to the snow machine, and we're going to head out to the cabin. Oh, it's really windy. Come on, Bo. Getting some deep snow, so I've done hooked the trailers and pulled one up at a time. No one's been out here, so there's not really a good trail broken in. You can use that for it. Huh? Yeah, see if it works. 
That won't um, yank him too much. It shouldn't. That took way longer than we expected. There's been wind drifts here, so you can't see the trail. There's like big crevices we were going through. We got stuck quite a few times. We actually had to unhook the dog trailer and also our uh, supplies trailer. Those are about, I don't know, not even a quarter mile back. We gotta go back and get those. Uh, but we made it to the cabin and this one's wired for a generator. So I'm gonna unload the generator real quick and we're gonna see if we can get a fire going. Hopefully there's some wood in there. No wood in here, they didn't leave any behind this trip. So uh, there's a bunch of dead wood down, so we'll be able to cut some. I brought the chainsaw, but I brought a bunch of birch in the little sled, and I got some kindling in there. So I'm gonna run back and get that so we can get a fire going. This is a pretty nice cabin. This time we're staying two nights because last time it was absolutely not enough time and today I can tell it wouldn't be enough time. I know it's already past two o'clock. It took us a really long time to get here. We clearly have no wood. Someone left us with no wood and this cabin is honestly a mess truthfully. So we're going to spend some time cleaning it up, getting set up. Eric's going to get the trailers and they're probably going to do some night fishing. Hey, photo has arrived. Make their bed here. Oh, no. Make their bed here, and then uh, sleep over there on the river. Sure. Oh, oh my gosh! Look at that bed. Oh, come here. We brought you your bed, dude. Come here, old timer. What do you think, Bo? Not too much fun. Surprise, more garbage and more disorganization, which is cutting into my fishing time. So quite annoyed at this point. There's just, I mean, I don't even know what to say. These are public cabins. So we operate off the rule that I'm pretty sure most people operate off. When you come out to these cabins, usually it's pretty clean. You try to like leave something for the next person and keep it clean. A used tea light candle. <laughs> That's completely done. I mean, this is just garbage. Um, I mean, I don't want to say it's garbage. I'm sure somehow someone could reuse this, but being that this is a public cabin, you really don't want to leave anything such as this, like empty, you know, containers, water containers that are empty, other various containers that are empty. We're just going to keep cleaning up. This is really special. I found Eric some diapers. <laughs> is he used? So we ended up with, I don't think anyone swept in here for an extreme amount of time. So we got a lot of dirt off the floor, hair, just nasty stuff, a lot of garbage that people just left in here. So we'll be hauling this out, but the cabin is clean and ready for us to stay here. But we gotta go back out because we only brought enough wood for one night and uh, that's birch. And we wanna keep the birch for at night because it burns a lot longer. These stoves are extremely inefficient in these cabins. So we're gonna go out, there's a bunch of downed trees. We got the chainsaw, go see if we can get us some firewood. Okay, we stopped over at one of the other public use cabins. We checked on the way out here and there's no one staying at this one for the next few days. But that's Mount Denali in the background. This one has an awesome view. It's part of the lake right there. And we're just gonna go inside this one and check this one out. That way we have been inside all three of them. 
that this lake has and we can decide which one we want to come to in the future. This one looks really cool from the outside, a lot bigger. Yeah, this, this is one awesome. is huge. I like the layout. Oh, look at this. The wood stove is still warm. They were, there was someone just in here. This one's really nice. Oh, this one's got a glass door. The wood stove's still going. I think we stay at this one next time. This is a nice cabin. The people left this one clean, so very nice. Beautiful. Look at all the firewood they got here. You want to go find some wood? Yeah. Look at that. Look at the uh, picnic table. Yeah. The jury. It's been so windy here. Well, it is storming out here. This wind has just not let up. There is these snow drifts just everywhere out here and there's a lot of down trees, but the lake is right there. And we came out here to do some ice fishing. Unfortunately, the snow machine, for some reason, it keeps blowing the headlight and the tail light. So we have no lights on the snow machine right now. We got to figure out what's going on with this thing, but we have our headlamps. We got the auger and everything in the sled. We're going to try to go down to the lake and drill some holes and set some tip ups. And we brought some hooligan for bait. So hopefully we have some luck out there. We're fishing in about what we caught the fish in last time. So between like 10 and 20, maybe 25 feet. And the ice is thick. It's like two feet thick. And then we have these snow drifts. There's blown snow all over this lake. Last time we came out here, the lake was just ice. This time there's a good two or three feet of snow on it. So we're having to 
get down in there real deep and we left the shovel in the truck. I'd go get it, but our lights aren't working. So we're making do with what we can do here. Using some hooligan as bait. Hopefully we get something. That's it right there. Is that at the bottom? Just about, yeah. Hmm. Whew, that took a long time to get four holes set. But we're gonna head up to the cabin. We need to attend these lines, but the cabin is literally right there. So I'm gonna be flashlighting these and waiting for a flag to go up. But we're gonna, we're gonna get up there and warm up because it is cold out here. stepped into deep snow. The thing I love about this cabin is that it is wired for generator because look how look how bright and light this cabin is. Isn't it beautiful? Power is a beautiful thing, babe. I think I scratched one. Oh my gosh, good. Really? Better than her there. <laughs> you look like a ninja. I don't feel like a ninja though. Look. Something like hurts right there. Like a Where's your other socks? I already hung them up. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. Are you gonna put an onion in tonight? No. Uh, what do you think? Let's just do a potato. Okay, I think that sounds good. Olive oil, my little free sample. That's all we need, baby. Potatoes. We are gonna have potatoes for dinner. Get these going in the wood stove here. Hopefully, we catch a fish. That was the plan at least. It would go great with these potatoes. But if not, we got plenty of food here. I gotta get this. Oh my god, look at what happened here. There's a hinge for a cabinet door. Someone burned the cabinet doors is what happened. There's a hinge in there. This thing on low. This should be low. We're cooking. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be eating fish for dinner. I was up here and I thought I saw one, but I went down there and there was nothing. So might just be potatoes tonight. Let me go check them. cooking from outside the chimney it was letting off the smell that one's not done what you said the white one is a little a little firmer one, it was a little firmer yeah but it's okay i'll eat it is it cooked enough no complaints yeah it's good enough for me i bit into the yellow one and i kind of wasn't as big of a fan of the way it just tasted and i bit into this white one that's really good wow. join us Who was the best shuffler in your family? My mom. She used to work in Las Vegas as a dealing oh, cards. Okay, okay. Where she met my dad. Of course, she was always shuffling, right? My dad was in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, my dad was in there underage gambling. I, I know the story. I know the story. Oh, I thought you wanted to hear it again. It's a taste that is oh. absolutely fantastic. It's like a. Mm, it smells good. It's like a straight. It's like a. It's like a dessert coffee. Whoa! What are you? You gotta go one and one. These are my rolls. Whoa! I really shouldn't have dealt them like that. Apparently. Skip. Zero. Oh man. For some thing, reason, I was thinking you could put like a blue and another blue. Can we draw blue. two already? But oh, you can only do that if you have a skip or a pat. Okay. Winter in Alaska has been rough on me. <laughs> I've forgotten to play my favorite card game. I, I'm fairly certain you do not have green. Someone say green. What color do you have? Not green. Oh. No, I don't have green. 
had to protect myself. You did. Good job. Are you? Oh. oh no. What oh, color? No. Dang it. <laughs> you got me. Good job. It's 11 p.m. Unfortunately, no fish. So I'm gonna go pull our lines. We can't leave them out there overnight. We have to attend them. I'm gonna bring those up and I'm gonna shut off the generator. Hopefully we'll have enough gas for the morning, but tomorrow we're gonna definitely do a lot of fishing and we're gonna have to make a run to the truck and grab our gas can and probably get some more firewood. We're burning through quite a bit. It is cold out here. morning we got a little bit of gas left in the generator so we're using it get it lit up in here and we're cooking breakfast we already got coffee made we're making kind of pre-made breakfast sandwiches hash browns moose meat and eggs and all of our eggs made it out here it's gonna be a good day today Instead of McMuffin, this is a McMoose. This is so delicious looking. We've got some homemade sweet rolls, moose, and hash browns and eggs. And sometimes when we come out to these types of trips, we like to cook a lot and it's just not really that easy to cook out here from all the materials you have to bring to planning for the bumps and the lack of water. You know, most of these are dry cabins, of course. So we like to like cook a lot of this stuff at home and then assemble it out here. This is a great way to start our morning and then we're going to run down and check our fishing lines. Eric ran out there earlier this morning and put them back. We really wanna focus on fishing today. Yeah. Well, we got to this one, it was up, but it's been pretty windy out here. I don't know if the wind triggered it. See how it looks heavy to me? I can't tell, but there's one there. Maybe it's just the one. No, there's something. Oh yeah, there's something on there. Cool. If you can barely feel her, I would guess it's one of those, the burbot. You bit this morning. It feels really small. It's probably small. But there's something on there. Like barely tugging? Yeah, it's really, it feels really small, but. It's a bird butt. Nice size one. It's a really good size. Look at that. Awesome, we caught one. I can't believe it. Wow, look at him. Yeah. I think this is pretty much what I was after. This, there's lake trout in here, there's these bird butt. I really wanted to catch another bird butt, so this is awesome. Sweet. Since we already ate breakfast, this will be lunch or dinner. We got one more to check over there. It's a nice one. That's a really good one. It's a good looking fish. We had to cut the hook off this one because he ate the bait and he really ate it and I couldn't get it out. So I'm gonna have to go get another hook for this tip up, put some bait on it. We got the one more to check. And then the plan is later today, we're gonna come down here, we're gonna drill some holes and we're gonna jig with some spoons maybe or some little tube jigs and try to catch a lake trout. But we've got some other stuff to do in the meantime. We wanted to come over and see Denali. 
in front of cabin number two. They have a really good view, obviously. It's right behind us and it's really neat from this perspective. From where we're at, we're quite a bit further, so it looks bigger. And really here, it just doesn't seem as big, but we're getting that really pretty lighting this early morning. Looks like the wind has died down quite a bit today, which is, I think, gonna work, hopefully, in our favor. Well, we planned a run back to the truck to get the gas can. We're gonna get our snowshoes so we can walk a little further out in the lake if we need to. And I'm also gonna grab our shovel. So I got my chainsaw, I'm gonna get some more wood while I'm out there, I'm gonna head out. stuck once I went through the hole. Oh my gosh. Man, this thing is a beast. Could you imagine doing that manual? No. No, I know. There's just no, it wouldn't hit. It goes down to the base of it, that's three feet. Okay, I think we're going to go a little closer. Is this the digging area? Is this one the next one? Good as any, right? That one hole? Tree snapping? I guess so, I heard tree snapping earlier too. Is that one hole? Nice weather today, but we do have some overflow on this lake and that is pretty much water up on top of the ice and it really sucks. You can get your snow machine stuck in it. You can get stuck in it. Well, not stuck in it, but you can get your feet wet. But I made it back with our wood. So we have plenty of wood. Arrow got two holes drilled for us. We're ready to fish. We're gonna go up and grab our little fishing poles and we're gonna do some jigging. Nothing yet so far. I'm using a nice silver spoon. We're targeting lake trout on this lake. Last time we were here, we caught a few of them on our tip ups with bait. 
and at the time I did not know that you could actually keep those fish here and you could target them with bait. So we now know that. So if this spoon doesn't pan out, I may switch to bait a little later on. I know they like these little silver spoons though and I think Eric's using like a little glow tube jig. These fish usually bite during the day. That's why we wanted to fish for them right now while we have some good light. They may bite in the evening. I know that's when they bit last time, but the bird bot ones, those ones usually bite in the middle of the night or maybe even like the early morning hours. That's when we got that one earlier today. It always gets really cold out here when you're just sitting here ice fishing. So I think we're probably gonna take a few breaks and head back up and make like a nice hot drink and warm up and then come back out here and do some more fishing. Are you gonna switch over to bait when we come back? No. I am. I love this crocodile. I'd love to catch something on it. I got faith in it. That totally is the sun though because it's just all of a sudden those mounds are really starting to get wet. Crazy, huh? Freaking, it's like two o'clock. <laughs> Later than that. Well, I think the next group of people that come out to this cabin is definitely gonna have enough wood. We burned not even half of that since we've been here and our trip's over halfway over. So we'll burn through a little bit of that. We'll leave some in here already split and ready to go for the next person. And then we got a bunch of rounds outside that should last them at least two nights. This cabin, this is cabin number three compared to cabin number one that we stayed at about a month ago. This one has a way more efficient wood stove and the box is a little bit bigger in it. So last night, we were extremely comfortable. I think I had to get up twice just to throw a couple logs on, but it stayed like 70 degrees in here and it was awesome. So we're nice and toasty in here. There is a thermometer. It says almost 80. So I'm gonna throw a couple logs on here and just keep her warmed up for us. slow out here but uh it's cold but we're gonna keep things interesting i'm jigging this hole here probably in about 15 feet of water i'm pretty close to the bottom got a really cool looking tube jig on there but i'm gonna throw a glow stick down there it's getting pretty dark never done this before maybe entice the fish that there's some more daylight right here i don't know maybe it'll work we'll see yet but I don't know how cold it is but it has dropped down these holes are freezing extremely fast I'm getting a layer of ice in like a minute it's crazy I don't know about this little glow stick though hopefully it'll produce something if not it looks pretty cool
we're gonna head up for a little and hopefully this evening we will have better luck. Was checking these and he told me there's a fish down here. I actually get to reel a fish at this time. Oh no. Oh, it's a little guy, huh? A little guy, huh? Perfect. These fish are pretty small. The one we had this morning was quite a bit bigger, but this will be a nice one to make for a really nice meal for dinner. And I know we're both getting really hungry, so. We're gonna get him processed and head head back up there. Look at the the fish is still in his mouth. He tried to take too big of a fish, I think. I believe it's probably about 10 o'clock now. We're just getting ready for dinner and we did these bird bite a little different than we usually do. They're kind of small fish. So instead of getting little fillets off them, we decided to just keep them whole. I skinned them, cut their head off and I gutted them. And we're gonna start by just cooking these up in a skillet here. This little fish is so delicious. It tastes really mild, but it has a really nice flake to it. And we're gonna be keeping it really simple. We are just gonna be throwing this back in the pot with some onions and garlic. And we're adding some of the garlic aioli that we made back at home. And we're gonna be topping it with lemon. say that tastes like this one doesn't taste like crab that much to me oh, it tastes like anything honestly it just tastes like lemon it's extremely mild i don't know if this is just these fish or what they're really mild you want to say the rest yeah i'm full okay I'm tired full of night let's do it very mild on the flavor of everything we put in it. coffee here at the cabin last morning and I think it's already around like nine o'clock we've been cleaning up and getting stuff ready We're supposed to check out of these cabins by noon so that way if there's someone that's renting after us they get here at noon we're having our our coffee we got a nice strong cup this is that powdered heavy cream that we got a while back this stuff is so awesome I don't refrigerate it I don't think you have to after you mix it up but I have a nice good frothy cup of coffee here last night went pretty good this cabin holds the heat in really well. I think I only got up once to 
put some wood on that fire and we burned all of our birch that we brought with us last night. So I'm pretty sure that's why it lasted so long for us. Oh yeah, nice dark coffee. And I am getting pretty hungry and Ariel has something pretty special planned for breakfast. You know, we couldn't just make a simple breakfast, so we brought along everything for pancakes. Not just any pancakes, we were making pumpkin pancakes. Got this puree that I made the other day, and then we have some birch syrup to go along with it. Dying. We're gonna be heading out a little early. I didn't catch the big lake trout I was after, but that's okay. We had a nice trip and we had really good weather these last two days, especially today is really nice. I didn't mention it, but there was a really big windstorm prior to us coming here and it didn't really affect where we live, but it affected a lot of people and that is what all those just huge snow drifts were from. So I think we got really lucky with our weather. I think we both enjoyed the trip. I've just got to finish sweeping. We're gonna load our dogs up and head out. Okay, fun trip. Let's hit it. What'd you say? I said none of these snow banks were here. It's all people in. But this trail also wasn't right here either. No. I think we're ready to go. There's another one on here. But I'm pretty sure it's a small one. For a bit? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. there it is. Oh, I put the hooks right in his mouth. I can take it out. Nice one. Little one. Can you see me? Yeah, you can. 